last time we uh, met uh, with Path as well, it was a lovely sunny afternoon. It was Joomla London. Um, and at that time, we were um, in a new new place. We'd been at UCL for quite some years, and then we'd moved to uh, a place on the South Bank. Uh, of course, it wasn't long after that that everything ground to a halt. And so, uh, as you can see on the slides, we do it every third Tuesday of the month um, and have done for it's 13, 14 years. Um, yeah, probably the longest running Joomla user group, I believe, uh, I if I'm not wrong. Patrick will dispute. I think Patrick <laughs> in Australia is a year or so more, but yes, <laughs> um, definitely the best value. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, Patrick and I get on very well. Um, it's uh, almost daily that we chat, so uh, uh, and we tease each other constantly. Um, how we're going to cope through the Ashes series, I don't know, but uh, we, we'll see. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, so it was it was it was a lovely time, and then of course everything's gone online. So um, I've been running uh, Journal London. I'm um, uh, Director of uh, a coordinator of the marketing communications now, which I took on a little while ago. I've been on the CMS release team a long time. Um, I was lead for a while and then uh, taken over by Sigrid, which is brilliant. She's really developed it and moved it on. Um, and more and more people have tested. So interesting what you were saying, Tim, earlier in your session. Um, it's one of those teams that um, it, it's really grown and it's really friendly. Um, even when it's stressful, it's friendly uh, and it's very productive. So I'll come on to that a little later, but I really enjoy that team. Um, I really enjoy the marketing communication. It's really weird. So Joomla has many, many different groups. and I've been in part of lots of them and they've all got their own flavor. They've all got their own. It's not just the people, but they all work in different ways. Some are really laid back. Some communicate every day. Some have a meeting every couple of weeks and that's the only time they talk. It's really interesting how you can be seeing the same people, but in a different setting, it's, it's a very different way. Um, I started off with the Google Summer of Code uh, last year. We managed to win uh, places. Uh, and then I um, uh, uh, passed that one on. And um, that's really, really gone well. Um, I'm really pleased with how that's gone. Um, and uh it's um, under Shivam's leadership, he's he's moved it on with the Summer of Code, which came out as well. We managed to get some places in that. And they were the students that you had at your last meeting. Um, so I'm going to um, go through a few of these things. So time for Joomla. So um, we've already had a little bit of a campaign and we'll have more. We're just starting to do some more videos on these about the specific aspects of Joomla. Joomla 4 is going to be a long campaign. Joomla 4, I don't know if people remember back in the days of 3, but 3 came out and there's a lot of criticism of it. And it took a couple of uh, miners to actually really bed in. And I actually think Joomla 4 has been better. I think Joomla 4 has come out. It's come out. It's got a lot of positives. Um, I really like it. And I've been testing it. it. It feels weird for me because I've been testing it for so long. But there's been a big change from testing to using and using it. I've found it a real joy. Um, I, I actually, it's, I've already got to that point where I prefer working on Joomla 4 sites than I do to Joomla 3. It's just faster. It's just so many little things that are really nice. And I've gone back to more core. I've actually um, used the opportunity to strip away. Uh, and I found that some of the things that I'd moved away from, and got other other uh, things going back to the core. I found that's improved so much. Uh, the media manager and uh, the editor as well. Just using it, uh, the highlighter. I absolutely love that. It's really speeded things up. So Joomla four. What we did was we did a campaign where we put Joomla the number four, and then we marked out some of the main areas. I mean, there was Joomla four API, which we'll come on to later. But we wanted to highlight with the launch not necessarily for developers, but for the, the people that will actually be um, building the sites and um, implementing and putting the code on, but also the clients, the people that Tim was talking to. Um, we wanted to let them know what was coming. So Joomla for speed, Joomla for accessibility, Joomla for emails because of the email templates, which is something that uh, I am really starting to use more for my sites. I've 
already built two sites, at least two sites in Joomla 4 from the start. And I've migrated about four client sites, the smaller ones, um, only 100 and something to go. Um, but I will definitely be planning those out. So those that don't have any extensions are just core. I can do now. Uh, I can already do some with some extensions that have been uh, tracked, changed. Um, there are quite a few which I'm planning for the new year because those extension developers have really been good in that they've said this is when we will be ready for it. And they've explained their time scale. So that's really helpful. Um, so I'm planning it out. But we've got the Joomla for SEO. Um, already, the, I'm getting such good Lighthouse scores out of the box. Um, there's one thing that you've got to remember that's changed. In Joomla 3, we used to fill in the global SEO for your site, the, um, uh, the, the main description for the meta tag. And that's not done in the new Joomla 4 because Lighthouse tells you you've forgotten it. And there are so many sites out there that just have the generic Joomla one. So that's been left out. So that, that takes your score down. As soon as you put it in, which you should do, your score goes way up. Um, Joomla for design, because I, I, I just really like the way that it, it flows um, and the whole, especially a lot of the accessibility has helped with the design. The design helps with the accessibility if it's done right. And we had a really good talk by Christiana, who did the uh, was one of the team that did the Cassiopeia template uh, last night at Joomla London. Uh, and that really went through a lot of the design aspects and you know, I've been working on it a long time, but I learned so much just from that talk. Um, really interesting. Um, the search that's been improved and, um, you know, it's uh, something which I use quite a lot on quite a few sites. And I'm really pleased with the, the changes that have been made. The workflows. Wow. I mean, workflows I'm just getting into. Um, and there's so much I'm excited to use with workflows. Um it's going to help me in my own business, my own sites that I build for myself, but also some of my bigger clients are really going to love the workflows. And the security, there's been several um, uh, extra layers put on, but I mean, people don't realize that under the hood, uh, virtually all, about 95 to 98% of all of the MySQL uh, queries uh, the SQL queries have been changed so that they're much more secure. Uh, so that's straight out of the box. It is more secure. Uh, and I think we're one of the only CMSs to have done that and refactored. Um, again, Joomla has always been, this one is the first to do this, the first to do that. We don't shout about it as much as I think we should. Um, and you know, when others come along, you know, there's a big blowing of trumpet and then you go, well, actually, we've had that for 10 years. Um, so the security is really enhanced and I think that's really good. The idea between time for Joomla is to switch it the other way around. And there's going to be three things. This is the first one that we've released and, and um, we're going to have another two where we're putting a word in front of the four. And so time for Joomla is, um, is, is uh, a way that we can give back. Um, so what Joomla gives us, um, let's just go through those last things. It gives us employment, Tim, myself, a lot of people, Tech Joomla, all the people involved. They get employment through Joomla. Um, it gives us fun. I really enjoy uh, building Joomla sites. Um, I enjoy building my own sites uh, and just expanding and sharing uh, um, some of my own hobbies through my sites. Connections. Tim, um, I've chatted to Tim a few times. Ashwin, um, you know, they come to the UK and I've, I've, I've um, shared uh, meals with, with Path in the past before at, at events. Jane Beyond, Joomla World Conferences, there's all those connections. Um, productivity. I find Joomla a very fast product to use, and Joomla 4 even more so. I think a lot of people, when they first get to that dashboard panel, we were discussing this last night, will think, whoa, what's all this about? You hardly use it. When you, it's there for you to set up, but once you set up, you suddenly find yourself using that side panel, uh, using the article menu, article menu, and the connection is much closer and I can build a lot faster in Joomla 4. Excuse me, I'm sneeze. Hey, fever. Hey, fever. I can build a lot faster in Joomla 4 than I can build in Joomla 3. Um, already, already that um, muscle memory has changed. And 
you know, I find it easier. Opportunities. I've had so many opportunities, not only um, with what I've done in Joomla, but because of Joomla, um, it's given me a platform to talk about other things. And I mean, I, I, I was very passionate about open source from a very early stage, way before uh, I came into Joomla. But it's it's been an opportunity to continue that and to meet people and to share uh, with charities and to, you know, charities have been quite a large sector that I've been involved with, and that's been really enjoyable. And also, I've got my own passions like rowing and and um, some of my photography, and I use Joomla sites to help those uh, charities, uh, the rowing charity and everything, to spread theirs. Pride, I've got great pride in what we do. I mean, you know, the one of the, the teams that I've mentioned the release team, um, when they find a bug and they fix it before it hits the world, um, it's a lot of pride in that. You know, it's 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 uh, it's really nice. And some slip through. You know, we don't get everything, but we do get some things. And I think that needs to be said because often that's the silent part. You know, there's there's the thousands of sites that weren't taken down. There's the thousands, tens of thousands of sites that didn't break because of the work that that team does. Um, and so there's a lot of pride involved in that. At time, I'm actually gaining time back. Uh, Joomla 4 is giving me time back because we are doing things uh, in, in my team here uh, at SoftForge, which is faster. We can, do, we can turn things around quicker. So what can we give back to Joomla? And um, that's time. We can give our time. And one of the things that I hear from a lot of people is I don't have time. I, you know, my work is busy and all that. But actually, there are often times when we do have time. We just don't realize it. And so the time I'm really with the time for Joomla idea is those sorts of snippets of time which you waste, which you use on social media doing something that you really didn't need to do. So the idea, the concept is simple. Uh, it's designed to make the most use of those little bits of free time, which we all have in our everyday lives. That moment on the train when you're bored, as a passenger in a car, waiting for appointment, uh, waiting for a download to finish, um, time to do uh, time so small as a package uh, that it gets wasted on reading someone else's complaints on social media, reading about some stars upset with another millionaire's comments, trivia that fritties away our time when we have time to kill. And there's always something in our day where we have a little bit of time like that, which actually, if we knew what we could spend it on, which would help Joomla, it could be really, really uh, useful. So the idea uh, grew and we started to produce a list of jobs to help focus those small packets of time that we all have. Um, and I put this on literally only this morning to, um, so we wrote the article over the weekend with Patrick um, and we put out the, uh, on docs um, and I'll um, just open that up. Uh, we put the, uh, a lot of the article on there and the idea of doing it on the docs is so that you can come back and add to it. Um, so in docs, that means that you can go in, you can uh, set up an account and you can edit that page and add your own uh, ideas and areas that you feel it, it could grow on. And I'm, I'm gonna go through these, um, but I would really love people to use that docs page <coughs> and to expand it. Um, so plan time. Um, Help to grow. Oh, so actually, let me go back to the docs one and uh, run it through that. So let me run through um, the the areas on this, and then I'll come through to that last bit. Um, so um, what we're really looking for is those small little things that you can do. And one of the first things we came up with was forums, um, both the Joomla forum and Joomla Stack Exchange. Now, you know, I, I, um, I don't participate on the forums too much. Um, I tend to do more on the docs and in Glip. Um, but I know a lot of people really enjoy the forums and the Stack Exchange. And I gained from those forums. I've um, Only today, I was fixing something and I used both the forum and Stack Exchange, I realized, um, to find the answers. Um, and, you know, it's really, really useful to uh, find new stuff. Now, coming from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4, there's going to be a lot of learning and there's going to be things that are broken, which we want to fix. So go into those forums. If you've got the knowledge, help to uh, expand that knowledge by just sharing one forum post, by going in there 
and documenting it. And one of the things I ask people to do is, and I, I find this uh, one of my pet hates, is when you go to a forum and someone's got a problem and then someone in the forum says, contact me privately and I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and you never hear the end of that, that forum post. It's like, well, what was it that you did? So if you come across a solution, please, actually, if you come across a solution, you could actually search forums for the problem and then paste that solution after where someone's gone off and found their private solution or the, 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 the owner of a, a product has said, um, you know, message us and we'll, we'll log into your site and fix it. Afterwards, go back. It only takes a few minutes to say this was what the problem was and this was what the solution was. And that would really, really help. Because I, I today it was um, Jerry Quest was one of the things that um, has broken in compatibility. And it was actually deprecated a long, long time ago. But Joomla 4 has, has stopped it from working. Um, and so really old plugins and stuff that use that, you need to know how to migrate to the new. And a lot of people have got the problem, the issue, but when they find the solution, they don't post what the solution is. So posting that solution, and it just takes a few minutes. So that's one of those things that I would ask, you know, if you've got a little bit of time, go in and, and, and have a look. Um, there's also discussion areas. And again, helping people out in those. These are the social media bits where if you've got that few minutes while you're doing an appointment, go in and, you know, see if you can help. See if you can have that positive attitude and help someone else in both the Facebook group, the LinkedIn group, and the Reddit group, um, because people consume their answers in different ways. And that, you know, we all have our favorite areas to go. So I don't use Facebook much. I'm much more Instagram and, uh, and, and, and YouTube. Um, so, you know, everybody has their own niche. Um, writing documentation for Joomla. Now, the docs, which I've just shown you, um, that is you know, the best place to put all the stuff for Joomla in a set out way. And it's so easy to do. Um, and I think a lot of people are really fearful of writing in the docs, but you don't have to worry about it. So um, I'm hoping that my docs page is showing at the moment. Um, if I quickly log in, uh, this is where everything will fall apart. Uh, let's log in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're writing, if there isn't a page, all you have to do in the docs is literally go to docs.joomla.org slash, and then if there isn't a page, you can actually just type a, a title. And if it can't find it, it will allow you to create the page. And you, so you can come up with an idea or something that you think would help. Or if you find that there's something that's missing, first of all, search, try and find it, try and um, find it in the, in, in the docs and in the search for the docs, which is, which is up there, just up here. But if you can't find it, just start off the land the the the, the page. Um, you don't have to have it all there in one go, and it can be a work in progress. You can keep coming back to it. So this took me less than twenty minutes to do. Um, I just logged in. One when you log in. Um, so one of the first things to do is obviously get an account and. Uh, I think one of the stumbling blocks for accounts is you have to be verified within 24 hours of getting that uh, confirmation email. Otherwise, it will lapse and it can lock you out of the system. So to do sign up when you've got a little bit of time to do that, and that will allow you to just dip in and change. And I'm often going through the docs and seeing something and going, that's changed. It's not like that anymore. What can you do? Well, once you're logged in, you've got the edit. Just hit the edit. And change that sentence. It's as simple as that. Um, just making that simple change and then hitting save. You, I mean, preview it first to make sure that it's looking okay. Um, and here's, here's what the preview will look like. Um, and then hitting save page um, and, and putting it back in. You've just fixed something. And it literally takes just a minute at the most. You can do it on your phone. It does work on the phone okay. Um, and I found myself using that time to fix docs and sometimes it's spelling, sometimes it's links that are broken, uh, things have moved, um, but that's really helpful. And if you've come across it and it's a problem and you fixed it, by fixing it, you fixed it for all those other people that are going to find it. Um, so you've saved a lot of people all the time, time that they can give back. Um, so, you know, the docs is, is, I think, one of the main things that we really need people to get behind. And so as you go through your journey with Joomla 4, 
check the documentation, see if those things that you've learned are there. And if they're not there, why not just add them? Um, and then they will be translated by the translation team and they will help other people. Um, and that brings me on to the next subject, which is translate Joomla. Um, Joomla is, I, I think, you know, the CMS with the most languages behind it. We have a huge community. Um, last night, Joomla London, we had four different continents uh, in the 30 people that were, were there, and many, many different languages. Um, and Christiana was doing her first ever talk in English, and she's a, a native German speaker. So language is a really important thing in Joomla, and um, being able to share things in different people's languages uh, is really important. So there's a whole section here on translating. There was a, a Joomla magazine article, um, which has been updated uh, since I wrote this. Um, and you can find it on this page, and that will explain how to get into the languages and how to start translating and using crowding. And I must admit, I was one of those that was with crowding and everything. I was like, oh, this is something new to learn. Um, I don't really want to go here. I don't need to do it because I'm, I'm, you know, English is the base language for it all. But actually, uh, in marketing, I do because I've got to put all these translations in for the videos and stuff. And so once it was put up into crowding, uh, one of the videos that we were doing, um, loads of people jumped on and started translating it and giving us the little um, files I could then put into the YouTube video so that suddenly anyone in any, in any other language could actually have the translation at the bottom, the captions at the bottom of the video in their language. And that's just brilliant. And it doesn't take long. And a, a video might be only two minutes. It might have... 20 sentences um, for someone in a different language, their native language, they can translate that very quickly. They can do that in crowding, get a crowding account, do that translation. Even if you, you know, you're just doing a, a, a small video, it helps. It helps spread it into your own language. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a really worthwhile thing to do. Testing Joomla. Um, Testing Joomla comes in many different ways. You don't have to be part of the CMS release team. Um, just your everyday experience is testing in Joomla. And, you know, I've found a lot of bugs, not in sessions in the CMS release team, but in my everyday use. I'm sure Tim as well has come across things and thought, why does it work like that? Wouldn't it be better if it did that? Go to the issues platform, mark an issue. Someone might disagree. Um, someone might come back and go, well, the reason is it does it like that, issue closed. But someone else might go, well, actually, that's a really good point. It should do it like that. Uh, and so, you know, using the issues platform and marking things down as issues, even if they're resolved and they're found to not be issues, it's, it, it, it's a helpful process to go through. It's part of your own learning. But it may be an issue, uh, and I've found loads of issues over the time. Um, issues don't necessarily have to be bugs. They can be things where wouldn't be better if. Uh, and for some, you know, it's a matter of opinion. But some things are just kind of, oh, yeah, why don't we think about that? At the moment, I'm loving in Joomla 4 using Tiny MCE. The um, highlights, if you highlight something, then a little um, section appears above, toolbar, which is very specific as to H2, H3, um, uh, linking and all of that. I don't have to move my mouse far. And it's just speeding it up. Silly little things like that must have been a, well, why don't we do that? So, you know, all these things can help. But then we actually have the CMS release team, um, which are people who... Uh, join and a week before a new release comes out, they get a preview of it. They will get the um, uh, a build package, which will be the release candidate, and they will then go and test it. And they don't just test it in uh, vanilla. They will test it in uh, complex sites. So I will take some client sites that I uh, put behind HG Access and I and a couple of clients that have said that they're happy for to be part of this, but we, we hide it so it doesn't leak out. And then I'll update it. And these are complex sites with lots and lots of different extensions. And then I'll go around the site seeing if all those extensions work. Uh, and sometimes they don't. And sometimes uh, something that's happened in the core of Joomla can affect um, 
the third party extensions. One of them uh, some years ago was source sets. I don't know if you remember, but some templates use source set. We did something in the core and that broke the source sets. So it, it is really important to, to do that testing. Another uh, bug that came out some years ago, well, about a year and a half ago, was what looked like a really good idea, cleaning some code up. Uh, well, we've got this thing in here, which is um, an integer. Uh, it could be Boolean. We don't need an integer to store this. Um, it seems to always be one or zero, true or false. So let's just change it to a Boolean. Unfortunately, if it's a multi a multi-language site it wasn't one or zero it was the language code of that language so the people we didn't have enough testing on that it's that's why it's really important to have a lot of different people's experience so multilingual sites because if we'd done that on a multilingual site before it was released we'd have seen that it um it would have actually caused an issue uh, and suddenly you lose the languages for your for your template and you know that was that was a bad one that got through. So the more people with different sites and scenarios, the better. And testing doesn't take that long. Um, it can take uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, to set it all up and to start the whole process. And then over that week, I'll put I've got we've got a spreadsheet that we can go through to mark different bits off. You can spend a few minutes here, a few minutes there. Um, so that's that's more of a team thing but it's a really, really worthwhile one and it can be done in little bits. Um, what I would say is it's better to have lots of people testing little bits and marking them off in the sheet. And one person going through the whole lot, um, at, but not having the different sorts of sites to be able to test through. So if you've got multi-language, um, right to left language instead of left to right, all that sort of thing, that's helpful and that's really good. Um, then we've got some, some interesting one here. Now, we want to get the word about Joomla 4 out and how good it is. And there's loads and loads of blogs that have been written, which um, are really old. You will see the same old stuff. Drupal is for scale. Joomla sits in the middle. WordPress is for blogs. Whoa, that was written 15 years ago. Uh, and things have kind of moved on. And, you know, our security is, is very, very good now, has, has really, really improved over the years. Um, there's a lot of things about Joomla where those articles, which a lot of people seem to be regurgitating and, and, and copying, just don't hold. So going in there and actually changing some of those uh, assumptions, saying, well, actually, you know, I've got a big scalable site. I'm, I know Tech Joomla, um, you've got some massive sites on Joomla. Scale, they scale. So, and I personally have some very large sites uh, which have expanded over the years. Um, and we've got no issues with speed at all. We're not even having to worry about it. Uh, with a bit of caching, um, it, you know, they are 1.5 second loaders or under. So, you know, and, and, and that's on Joomla 3. When we come to Joomla 4, I'm really looking forward because I've already done a few uh, tests between Joomla 3 and Joomla 4. Same site, one upgraded, one not. Um, one uh, on the same server, and I've seen the speed increase. So uh, I'm really, really, really pleased and excited. Um, so going on and talking, going into those um, blogs, and um, perhaps you know, pointing in the comments out that Joomla 4 is released, that it gives all these new things, all these new features. That will be one thing you do to help get the get the word out. Um, there's a lot of um, CMS uh, awards. Um, so one of them I put here is the CMS Critics Award. Um, we have featured in it most years, but we are, uh, we seem to only feature in one or two categories. And actually, there's a lot more categories that really do fit Joomla. So I think with the release of Joomla 4, it would be really great if a lot of people got into that, nominated Joomla for that, um, and, you know, um, we, we, we vote for it and try and get our name out there. It's really simple. It's a few minutes of your time done. It's sitting in that waiting room, sitting on that train. You just bumped it a bit more. The trust radius. So um, that was an interesting one. So there was an article written, uh, trust radius as a whole series of uh, CMSs. And um, actually, um, I was messaged by someone the other day saying that this no longer applied, but I, it, it does because we're not in the top rated ones. Although our position has moved up on Trust Radius since I posted this uh, magazine article, so that already speaks volumes that it works when you do it. 
um, we're not in the top five here. Um, and yet we've got, I mean, this, this is even, it opens out to even more. We're not there. Um, and I think we should be there. Um, we're, we've got 76 ratings, I think, and a similar number of stars. We should be nudging into here. So I put the link into, into the Time for Joomla um, page uh, on how you could uh, go in there, make your points about Joomla, um, review it, um, and, and especially Joomla 4, obviously. Um, and, you know, we hopefully will see ourselves nudging into those um, those scores. Um, and then that gets the word out because when I started my uh, look years and years ago, I did read some of these reviews. Uh, back then it wasn't Joomla, it was Mambo. Um, I was building my own CMS. <laughs> I was tired of building my own CMS. It was rubbish. Um, and so I thought, you know, someone's got to have done this. You know, it was PHP Nuke and, and a couple of bulletin boards. And I found this thing called Mambo. And it's like, well, this looks really good. Um, and then quickly after that, Joomla. So they do work. They do work in getting the, the spreading of the news and letting people know about it. And if you find any other awards or any other... Um, blogs and um, guides that you think that we should feature in and we're not, go in, edit this page, put them in here, put the links, and let other people start adding their time into promoting Joomla in that way. Um, we've got other ways. Um, oh, I mean, one of the other things you can do is write your own blogs. Write blogs about your experience with Joomla. Push those out. And when you do that, come into Glip, uh, where a lot of the community are, and say, I've just written this blog. You know, I'd be really uh, pleased if people would comment. Put your blog into this, um, and then people can find it easily and comment. So these are all things that we could do to help get the word out. Participate in events. Now, I run a user group. Patrick runs a user group. Um, I know, Tim, you've appeared in user groups, um, lots of user groups, uh, um, have shrunk over the years and, and, and disappeared. I think Joomla 4 release is a good time to try and reinvigorate some of those to uh, share. And also, times have changed. You know, we're, we get a bigger audience now at Joomla London because we're virtual. Um, and so we can have Tim and we can have other people coming in. We've always had international speakers. Uh, the big change for us is having an international audience coming to those meetings because we do everything online. So... Um, I think participating in user groups um, is something you could do. You'll learn a lot more about Joomla. I learn every single Joomla London. I've been doing it 13, time, 13 to 14 times, 52, uh, sorry, uh, um, 12 sessions. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're into, into several hundreds, many hundreds of uh, uh, sessions, and um, I'm still learning every time. Um, so... User groups um, and share with different user groups. I like, uh, if I can, getting into Patrick's one. Uh, I've been to the Chicago one. Um, I've been to a few others. And, you know, it's it there. I always learn new things. And also user groups for other things. So there's like the PHP user group. There's a, a London one. I go to that sometimes. And um, other topics, JavaScript and stuff like that to expand, to learn, which you can then bring back to Joomla. Um, and again, it's half an hour. It's, it's not long. Um, you can dip in, you can dip out. Joomla events, I'm hoping that with the pandemic disappearing um, slowly, that we'll be able to get back to meeting up and having some real meetings. Um, but also um, a hybrid where some of us meet locally and we have um, uh, a video conference for, for other people to come into it. And these are events that we could help contribute to uh, write a talk for all that sort of thing. And it doesn't take a long amount of time. You don't have to be in a Joomla team for that. You can just do the work and then submit it um, and look for the events on the events page, which we've linked to here. Go and do a talk, a half hour talk, even um, a lot of talks, a lot of sessions, they like to hear about people's experiences. So your experience is, is, is going to be interesting to other people you'll have come across solutions that other people are looking to find. So just joining those little sessions um, and giving a bit of time back to the community through those would be really, really helpful. 
Um, I put in here, this is a far from exhaustive list, and um, there's the volunteer engagement team. Uh, you can contact uh, Patrick through that um, and, and see other ways that you can be involved. But all these things that I've mentioned don't have to be a part of a team. You don't have to necessarily put aside large amounts of time. And some of them literally are just a few minutes. So I would really hope that people would take this on board and, and um, put some more time into that. Um, so this is the list of jobs. Please help it grow. Um, I've also put it here, help grow list of regional ideas. So there might be things that actually affect different regions. And so please expand that list out for regional lists. If there are things that are affecting particular regions that they need help with, um, you know, we forget sometimes in Europe that we have really good connectivity, but other parts of the world don't. And so maybe there needs to be ways to help other parts of the world with their connectivity. Um, I One, one uh, group I, I, I came across um, recently, they were having trouble sourcing some extensions in their language. Um, and so I was able to help um, point them in, in the right direction there. Um, Joining um, online jokes and all that we've also mentioned, but growing your own knowledge, I've put here, um, going out and finding how to do things and then sharing that back with the community. So um, some of those things are things like when progressive web apps first came out, um, you know, I, I, one of the guys at Jim London said, Phil, what's this all about? So I looked into it and then I built a progressive web app, which um, I used in Joomla. And I then shared that knowledge on the jugs. And so other people then did more progressive web apps themselves. New technologies that come along. Some of them take off and some of them don't. Um, but it's still good to share that knowledge and for you to share that knowledge back. So what's in it for me? Uh, you know, why should I do this? Well, it's what Joomla gives us. Um, you know, back to that first bit, uh, employment, fun, connections, productivity, opportunities, knowledge, pride, and time. Um, if you do this, if you expand Joomla and help Joomla to grow, then these are the things that we're going to get back. You know, it's going to help me with my uh, employment if, I, uh, if Joomla expands and grows and continues to be as successful as it is. Um, then... You know, it's going to carry on the employment of myself and, and staff. Uh, I take on uh, apprenticeships and so spreading the noise like that. Um, it's fun. I enjoy it. I, you know, last night we had a session from uh, one of the Google Summer of Code. Oh, actually, no, it was a um, Summer of Code student, not a Google Summer of Code student. Um, and uh, that was absolutely brilliant. Um, and it was all about a new product that, um, we're a new um, thing that's going to be coming out hopefully in Joomla 4.1, um, which is to do with um, scheduling. Um, and so um, that was uh, a really um, fun talk um, and, and a really um, uh, Tushar, the, the student, um, it stunned us all because he's, he's literally only taken PHP up about uh, three, four months ago since he started the project, and yet he's contributing something that will go into the core already. So, you know, that, that's, that was, that was I, I really enjoyed going through that. I enjoy playing with those sorts of things. Um, and so people giving that sort of thing back to the community. You know, you, you could be uh, just giving a, a little bit through the documentation or whatever that will help someone like that. You're adding to it. Um, so... To end on, I just want to thank you for your time um, and to uh, ask people, you know, if they've got any questions, if they get stuck with anything, trying to do the documentation, all that, uh, you can reach out to me. Uh, I'm often in Glip. Um, uh, you can uh, message me, uh, phil at softforge.co.uk, or you can contact me through the community, my community address, uh, which is all over, and on the Joomla London website. Um, and um, I'm more than happy to help people give a bit of time so they can give their time back. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.